Welcome back to the channel. We have just begun field trials and testing of our RFID flock management system, which revolves around this chute that we just installed uh, last week. The system is controlled by this graphical user interface, which is web-based. We can use any smartphone or tablet or anything of that nature that is on the network to control it. It has two strict screens, one of which is our door status screen, which uh, can open and close the coop door, it gives us a status of our entire flock, and this is how we arm or disarm the door. Our other screen uh, we call the yard bird screen, and that ultimately just tells us uh, the individual bird status, whether they are in or out. We keep track of our birds via RFID tags. These are eight to 900 megahertz tags. And uh, the way we have them attached is about the best we can do. And we only really have 10 tags anyway, which we have four more birds. So we had to pick which birds we wanted to use. Our birds line up in the chute every morning, uh, getting ready to uh, go out of the coop for the day. They've uh, learned that this is the new egress in and out of the coop. So they uh, line up here in the morning. In the morning, all one needs to do is to disarm the system. And then once the system is disarmed, you can open the door. Once the door is open, our chicken or our flocks are out for the day. Uh, at this point, you can kind of get a rough idea um, by looking at the uh, yard bird screen to see, um, you'll, you'll start to gradually see birds uh, as they egress or as they leave the coop being shown as uh, going from the end stage to out. There's about an eight second delay that is part of the program as far as how long it takes before it registers, but uh, they are eventually registered as they leave the coop. During the day, uh, they can go in and out as they please and they are monitored. So the idea is at some point by adding um, the antenna inside of the nesting boxes, we will be able to determine who is laying and who is not laying. So once again, during the day, they have free reign. They can do what they want. Uh, they typically will just go in to lay um, and, uh, and, and stay out. Uh, the system is not up, not set up in such a way to deny them access at any point. And like I said, it's taken them a few days to uh, get used to the fact that this is the new entrance and exit. Uh, the main magic, at least for us, happens in the evening when it is time to put them up. Uh, that means that we do not have to be there for that and they are fully counted. Um, at least the birds that have tags. And like I said, we just picked the last 10, who are typically the last 10 in, until we uh, tag the entire flock. Once the system is armed and the final bird, as we see here, comes in for the evening, he is registered by the um, one of the two antennas that is inside of the chute. There's an antenna up front, and then there's an antenna towards the rear. Um, based off of the last antenna to read the bird, we know exactly who was in and who was out. Once the bird is registered as out and the system has been armed and it's the last bird, the door will shut for the evening, uh, giving us the status that the, uh, that the door is closed, that all of the hens are in, and the system is armed, ready for us the next morning to let the birds out. That's pretty much how it works. We are still in field trials, but we're really excited to get it actually uh, attached to the coop and working. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share. Thank you very much.